these genuinely do feel like Fenty Gloss Balm dupes. Hello, beautiful! Today, we are going to try out the new Maybelline Lifter Gloss Quartz Collection. I have all of the new shades with me here, so let's go ahead and try them out. I love doing beauty product review videos for you, and I also love trying out new makeup, like these new glosses. So if you're also into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and if you found that this video was helpful in any way, shape, or form, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you love these lip glosses and you feel like more people need to know about these lip glosses, make sure to like this video so that it can get spread out to those other people. All right, let's get started trying out these lip glosses. I think I'm going to start out with the lightest shade first. If you are not familiar with the Maybelline Lifter glosses, they have been out for a while now and they are highly, highly loved. They are really good lip glosses. I've already tried out the opal shade, wore it all day long, and it is amazing. Honestly, kind of compared to the Fenty Gloss Balm creams, just not as thick. And of course, these colors are more sheer, but they're long lasting, they smell yummy, they kind of taste yummy. I think they're totally worth the hype. Also super affordable, it's like half the price of Fenty Gloss Balm creams. And I just literally have no complaints about these lip glosses. They are amazing, they feel amazing. And so let's go ahead and try on the shades. All right, so we're gonna try on the lightest shade. This is an opal. Oh my god, these smell so good. It smells just like candy. So that is what opal looks like. You get just like this very hint of pink. Kind of just looks exactly like the packaging. It's so comfortable on the lips. It's long lasting. You could build it up. It has a little bit of a stickiness to it, but it's not bothersome whatsoever it's a very slight slight sticky stickiness to it and again just a little less thick than the Fenty Gloss Balm creams I usually don't like um, drugstore style packaging it just feels cheap but I feel like this style of packaging I feel like I'll still gravitate towards it because it doesn't feel cheap it has a decent weight to it and this part kind of looks like glass. The plastic's kind of sturdy too. So I feel like this is something I will gravitate towards. It is a bit bulky, but again, I don't mind. It's just a nice consistent rectangle, so I'm okay with it. So Opal was the first shade that I tried and I played around with it throughout the day. I feel like it kind of depends on how much you apply, but the first time I applied it, I ate something, it kind of rubbed off, and then I applied it the second time, and then it started, it was weird, it started to fade after like three hours and then I applied it again the last time and it just lasted for the rest of the night that I literally had to like remove it off of my lips before I went to bed at night so all in all I feel like it is pretty long lasting maybe it just depends on how much you apply so I'm gonna go for the next lightest shade I would say it is in the shade brass and by the way if you do try to pick these up good luck because I tried picking them up and um, I ordered it online at Target and then like within an hour it was like oh sorry this product is sold out so I guess people are really loving these glosses hmm. I feel like all so far these two have a peaky pinky undertone honestly this kind of looks like the first one so all in all I think you just need one or the other because I really can't tell much of a difference between these two shades so the next one we're gonna try and again these ones are shimmery there's only one of them that doesn't look like there's any shimmer to it. So this shade is Ruby. I don't wanna to apply too much because it can get quite thick. So this is Ruby. This one's like 
a deeper pinky shade. I actually really do like it. Honestly, these genuinely do feel like Fenty Gloss Bomb dupes. Not so much the cream, because it this ones are more sheer, so like probably the Fenty Gloss Bomb Gloss Bombs, not the creams. So we've got ooh. We've got two more shades. I'm gonna go with the glittery one. This is the last um, glittery one we got. And this is in the shade sand. Ooh. Okay, we got our first orange shade. This is a very fun color. I like that shade. It's got an orangey shade. I highly recommend these glosses, um, especially now that I'm getting color. I thought maybe they were too sheer, but no, you do get a little pop of color. And of course, if you are fair toned, some of the colors are gonna pop out more on you. But the Maybelline Lifter glosses, there's a lot. This is probably one of like the fourth new shade collection that they've come out with. If I didn't have Fenty Gloss Bomb Creams, like I would be running to the store to pick these up because like I said, you get longevity, you get the comfortability, you get the nice look, the nice shine. These are really, really good glosses for drugstore glosses. And then the last one we're gonna try is the shade Heat. And I think this is the only shade that doesn't have glitter in it. <gasps> I love this color. Woo! Okay. Mm-hmm. I love that. So this is heat. It kind of has like a little bit of a gradient effect too. So now you got to see no shimmer and shimmers highly recommend them um honestly i don't i don't have any cons like it's honestly not even that sticky it just feels thick not sticky well that pretty much wraps up the wraps up wraps ups wraps up wraps up that is the end of this video honestly if if i didn't have any Fenty gloss bombs, I probably would pick this up. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, it's also kind of similar to the Kylie Kylie lip glosses. Honestly, I would just pick these up instead of the Kylie Kylie glosses because it's it's it is pretty freaking identical. It all comes down to the packaging, whether you like the Kylie Jenner lip glosses or this one. The Fenty gloss gloss bombs though are a bit better. Packaging is also a lot nicer, but I mean, you know, I'd still go out and pick these up if, if like I said, if I didn't have the Fenty Gloss Bombs, um, I would just pick these up because it's like literally, especially the way that it looks on lips, almost identical. It doesn't have as much of that hugging sensation as the Gloss Bombs do, but um, looks wise, very similar. Love these. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and definitely make sure to like the video um, so that other people can get to know more about these amazing, super affordable drugstore lip glosses. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content like this. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in another one. Bye!